Hey guys, Mike here from HomestudioMusicProduction.com and in this video I am going to show you what I discovered about EQ that made me create better sounding music. So we'll start with the basics, we'll look at the different parameters, we'll look at the different types of EQs that are available to us. Let's start with what is an EQ? Well, an EQ is like a volume fader for specific frequency bands and it can be used to balance frequencies inside of an audio signal. It could also be used to blend the tracks together and for creative effects such as the telephony effect. So let's pull up the stock Pro Tools plugin here. It's the EQ37 band and there are seven bands here. We're going to be looking at the low frequency uh, band right here. We'll select um, a parametric shape or, or bell curve they call it. Here we have the frequency knob. The frequency knob selects the, the desired center frequency we want to work on. And when we select that frequency, then we can boost or cut that frequency by using the gain knob here, like so. And then we can adjust how wide or how narrow we want that boost or cut to be, like so, with the Q knob here. Now keep in mind, Q stands for bandwidth. And for example, a Q of 2 is half an octave wide, and a Q of 4 is a quarter of an octave wide. So the higher the number, the more narrow the bandwidth, the lower the number, the, more, the wider the bandwidth will be. Now let's take a look at shelving EQ. In order to use this as a shelving EQ, we have to have this button here enabled to be able to use this as a shelving EQ. We still have the same three parameters, frequency, gain, and Q. And with the shelving EQ, what we want to do here is give a general lift or cut to all the frequencies either above or below the shelving EQ that we'd like to work on. So for example, say we have a shelving EQ of 100 Hz and we'd like to boost all the low frequencies above, uh, below 100 Hz. So here's an example of 100 Hz, a 4 dB boost to all the frequencies below 100 Hz that have been boosted. If we want to cut all the frequencies below 100 Hz, we simply lower the gain and we give it about a negative 4 dB cut. And that's an example of using a low shelf frequency. Now, for example, let's use a high shelf. High shelf here, we'd like to boost everything above the 6K Hz frequency that we selected. And we gave everything ab above 6K Hz a 3 dB boost to the signal. And that's using a high shelf. Finally, let's take a look at filters. We have high pass filters and low pass filters. High pass filters pass all the high frequency information and cut the lows. And low pass filters pass all low frequency information and cut the highs. So for example, we want to cut everything below 100 hertz. If we go to our high pass filter here, and as you can see, everything below 100 hertz has been cut by about 6 dB here. We could increase that and have a steeper slope here like that. And that's using a high pass filter. So now say we want to use a low pass filter, same thing. We select one of the high frequencies here and say we want to cut everything above 5k hertz and everything above 5k hertz has been cut and we can select the slope here and we, we could change that slope to be a little more balanced um, or, or go a little more drastic with that and that's using a low pass filter